The Lower Sacramento is one of those really valuable resources we have here for fly fishing in California. And regulations are in place to be able to protect those resources. But not everybody necessarily knows what those regs are, and they change all the time as well. So I was out there on the Lower Sac with Brian Flint, who's a guide out there, and we talked a little bit about the regs, uh, the current regs on the Lower Sacramento. All right, so right now we are above the 44 bridge on the Lower Sac. It's 5.5 miles upriver to the dam. And all this section of river is close to fishing. Um, this is all spawning habitat for the rainbow trout, for steelhead, for salmon. Um, basically, they close it off from it, April 1st till August 1st, four months. After August 1st, you can come back and fish this section, correct? All the way down to the 44 bridge. 5.5 miles from the dam down to the 44 bridge. After that, it's still open, catch and release, uh, single barbless hook. Um, you can keep hatchery fish if you decide to. Other than that, it's a good idea to be aware of wading. When you're wading this, these uh, lower flows on the sack, do be careful about walking over reds or clean gravel. There are going to be areas like that, but other than that, it's, it's fair game, as long as you're in the correct area. The Sacramento River is a really unique place, but it really requires somebody who knows what they're doing up here, and Brian Flint is one of those people. He's a guy that does the Sacramento, as well as the Pitt River and the McLeod. He does walk and wade and drift boat as well. So let us know. We'll put you in touch. Learned a lot from him, and I think you will too, and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <laughs>